Hi guys, uh, I am going to be showing you the Acer 14 inch Chromebook. This is kind of an end of life product, but it's a nice product. I've test driven it at Costco. It's sub $200. And I want to thank my sponsor for this, which is EnterpriseCloud9.com or EC9.us for all of your server virtualization need and custom software. Also want to thank my patrons. So that's Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Seer, Matt Champ, Token Linux Guy, and Ian Fox. Thank you guys. And if you want to become a Patreon sponsor, go to flyingrich.com. There's links there. And uh, I'm having a thousand subs... Uh, can't talk thousand subscriber contest giveaway so go to flyingrich.com and enter the contest if it's still running when you see this video all righty so let, let's talk about what you do with this uh are you going to be editing video are you going to be playing you know crazy games and stuff like that no that's not what you're going to be doing with this really my use case for this is I want to have something I'm going to be dragging around with me at the house because basically I dock my MacBook Pro, my 15-inch MacBook Pro. I want something that I can watch uh, YouTube, Netflix, Plex. What else? What other video sources would you watch? Maybe send, receive email. So this is going to be kind of the Linus's blanket of computers. I've tried with some of my older netbooks and... Even vintage operating systems don't do those things I'm going to want. So this is what this is going to be fulfilling. Also, like, hey, airplane watching videos. So if you want to uh, bring some videos. So let's crack this puppy open in the nicest way possible. And in case you're wondering, this is the Kershaw Weston, named for Michael Weston of Burn Notice, which was filmed in Miami. And... Uh, to the locations, uh, the Michael Weston exteriors were shot at a uh, warehouse, which was pretty much across a canal from where Madeline's house, the exteriors were shot. But the um, actual interiors were shot in Coconut Grove, uh, the Coconut Grove Convention Center, which was torn down to make room for a park. Alrighty, so we got some sort of seal here. And some sort of a... Yep, alright, I thought it was prior open, it was just creased. Some sort of a seal over here that I'm opening. And uh, just so I don't mangle the packaging, I like to open it like that. I'm hoping there's a little bit of a charge in here that we can fire it up and take a look. All right, so power cable, wall wart, not exactly a wall wart. Moose, battery, I'm assuming the battery's for the moose. Let's, let's just take, all right, so not massively heavy, cool looking, kind of Mac-ish looking. You have instructions for people that are instructionally challenged. All right, that makes enough noise. Let's see. I don't want to like open this on the wood desk. Oh, okay. So they got a little bit of screen protector-ish stuff there. So this is a quad-core Celeron. Does it power? Guess what the answer is? The answer is no, no power. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is going to be two videos. Uh, nice, feels good. Speakers are down here. Hopefully it's loud enough. Get a little bit of protective tape over that. We got a mouse. Up. Oh. Hmm. And let's drop the battery in. Does it go that way? It does go that way. That springs back there. Okay. It's workable. Let's check out the wall wartiness, which, or the unwart. 
And for those of you who have never heard the term wall wart, basically it's a wart that grows on the wall. Which is usually the power supplies where the plug is captive in there so that the prongs go in. Let's see, do I have enough cord that I can plug into a UPS? All right, so this is a Canon connector. Can we read? I cannot see what the power output on that is. Do I have enough cable? Maybe. That we can attempt the power up. And over here. Grabbing some power. All right. Oh, ports. Hey, um, so just to confuse you, audio. So it's going to be microphone also, power, which you probably can make that mistake and jam them in. So we got HDMI out, nice. Two USB 3.0, which is nice. And come on, baby. What I got to do? Well, okay then. All right, we got screen. Uh, okay, dokie. And I'm selecting my language. No network, all right, so it's gonna want network information. All right, so we got five gigahertz. Hmm, I'm gonna hide when I type. It's connecting. I don't know if the keyboard is backlit. I'm not sure what that button does. Be super nice if they were backlit, not sure. All metal chassis, full HD, up to 12 hour battery life, ultra thin, wide angle webcam. Doesn't say anything about keyboard being backlit. Would be super cool if it was. Blah, 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 accept and continue. Enter my email, and I'm gonna do this off to the side here. Okay, I guess it's not touch screen either. Uh, I gotta enter my password. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. It's asking me if I signed in a uh, recent activity account. And I can choose my picture of me for the sign in on my Google profile. Hmm. If I do the take the tour, is it too boring? Oh, my Gmail, uh, my YouTube is coming up. All right, so it's not a touch screen. So, hey, what do you want? Play, edit, share. All right, so if I click here, what happens? Nothing. I, because I'm in the tour. Hassle-free goodness. Oh, can't see my email address. And what's that telling me? Keep exploring, finish. Okay, so let's just see what we got here. Okay, so it's kind of your Chrome apps. My regularly used app, Play Music. Where's the Play Store to add? I'm assuming there's going to be a Play Store here. Push Bullet, which I've used with my 3D printer. My email address again. Let's see. All right. Uh, 
first impressions, I like it. I'll try to do a follow-up video and let you know what I think. So uh, go to flyingrich.com. If the contest is still running, the 1,000 subscriber contest, go there and enter. And uh, I want to thank my patrons on Patreon and thank enterprisecloud9.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it.